What we really wanted to do was to understand whether it would be cost effective for the federal government to introduce um, population sort of level screening for hemochromatosis. Because we know a lot of people um, are only diagnosed when they've developed um, quite severe symptoms, sometimes irreversible organ damage. And if they'd been diagnosed much earlier, that could all be prevented. So we ran a national survey with people who have hemochromatosis to understand um, the economic impact on them, also quality of life impact, um, really getting a whole picture of their health and well-being. So the cost of hemochromatosis to Australia is around $270 million per year. And that includes costs such as um, medications for, um, for the regular blood donations or the, the venipuncture. Um, it can also for arthritic pain medications, for diabetes um, medications. Um, we've also included um, productivity losses, so when people are no longer able to work or the Im immense fatigue that people experience in, with haemochromatosis where they can't go to work or when they do go to work they can't function at their normal level. So we can reduce the costs um, related to haemochromatosis by increasing the rate of early diagnosis. So when people are diagnosed early and then they have regular um, venous sections, they won't go on to develop a lot of the, um, the complications um, related to ongoing iron overload. And that in itself would, we estimated, save, save substantial, um, so over, over $100 million a year. One way we could increase the rate of early diagnosis would be to have a, um, a population-wide screening program so we've got really simple ways for testing for the condition. It can be uh, as simple as a buccal cell swab, so it's just a little swab inside your cheek and it takes some cells, and that's enough to um, do a genetic test to see if you um, have, the, have the genetic conditions. Um, there are also blood tests that can be conducted. So there are quite simple ways that we could introduce a, a genetic screening program. It could be whenever you turn, turn up to your GP at certain ages, there might be an alert for the GP to remind them to do a quick blood test looking at iron levels. Um, another way it could be done is like the bowel cancer screening that gets mailed to, um, to people's homes at certain birth dates. Um, we could do that as a one-off genetic screening for, for people um, where they would just take that small cell swab from their cheek, um, return that in a little kit, in a little sealed container, and then they would receive the, the genetic results. It looks at this stage that if we do conduct a genetic screening program across the country, it would likely be cost effective uh, for, the, for the population. There'd still be a cost for government, but in the long term there would be savings because of um, all the illnesses that people don't develop, such as diabetes, heart disease, liver disease.